that a turtle who lives in water? This is a tortoise, and this is as big as she gets. Is he alive? She lives on land. She is alive. Now, she is also on a special list, and it's really not a good list. She is on the endangered species list. So what does that mean? She, there's a little bit of her kind. Yeah. Uh, they might go extinct. Exactly. So, gopher tortoises in the, are found in the southeastern part of the United States. So, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida all have gopher tortoises, but ours are the only ones that are listed as endangered. Everybody else's are listed as threatened, but Mississippi's are listed as endangered because ours are genetically unique. And that's why we're not bringing them from other states to try to populate here. So, ours are super special. Um, but they are on the endangered species list. They used to be further into the state, but now they are from like South Patterburg to the coast. So you can see these guys here. They like sandy soil because, what does a gopher do? Oh, he digs, right? So that's why we call him a gopher tortoise because she digs tunnels underground. If you look at this front foot right here, it's flat. It looks like a shovel with rake on the end of it. So she uses those front feet to dig those tunnels. And the reason that she does that is her habitat, y'all remember what a habitat is? It's a home. It's her home. She catches on fire. Because she lives in an area that used to, that's called a long leaf pine forest was where they used to live. And longleaf pines are these super cool pine trees. They take a really long time to get to be really tall. So in the meantime, they look strange. Grown-ups will know who I'm talking about. When they get about this tall, they look like Cousin It. Because they have like an 18 inch long needle and when they're hanging there, it, you can't see the trunk of the tree. It just looks like a big bush of pine needles. But as they grow, what's super cool is the trunk gets really, really straight and tall, and there's no limbs on it until the very top. And they don't like limbs. They don't like neighbors. They like to be spread out. So there may be a tree over in this corner, and there may not be another one till out in the parking lot. They don't like things growing right close to them. So if you're the tallest thing in a field, you're in a thunderstorm, what is likely to happen? Lightning strikes, exactly. So they would get struck by lightning, but they've adapted to fire doesn't hurt them. It's kind of a weird thing. And so that fire would burn out all the big bushes and shrubs underneath those trees. Because remember, I said they don't like neighbors too much. So they would burn out all of that shrubbery so it turned more like a savanna or grassland kind of thing underneath it. Guess what Polly eats? Worms. No worms. Crickets. No crickets. No, well, no, she wouldn't eat celery, but if she had it. But that you're on the right track. Salad. Salad. Grass. Polly is only eats plants. What do we call that? Herbivore. She is only herbivore. These turtles are omnivore. What does that mean? They eat meat. They eat meat and plants. They would eat the burgers and the fries. Right? <laughs> well, they eat salads. And I'm telling you, she is a princess. Because if it's raining outside, Miss Sabrina goes out and picks her a salad of grasses to put in her little enclosure. So she doesn't have to give her <laughs> Not only that I don't have to spend any time in rain. But she, hang on just a minute. So she is an herbivore. So when that fire moves through, it cleans that up. And then when the new grass grows, it's very healthy for her. But she can't outrun a fire. So she's adapted to dig those tunnels. And while the fire's going over the top, she's down in her tunnel, hanging out. And it's deep. And it's long, so the smoke's not going to get in there. The fire's not going to get in there. She's super safe. Now, that's really cool, isn't it? How many of you like to share? 
<laughs> and I have to preface mine by depending on if it's my m and ms <laughs> Right. I used to hide my m and ms under the broccoli so my kids wouldn't get them. They always ate the candy. So now they're grown and have their own house. When I go to their house, I eat their candy now. They haven't learned the broccoli trick. She loves to share. In fact, Holly and Gopher Tortoises share their burrows, their tunnels, with over 370 other critters. Who wants to share your bedroom with 370 of your best friends? Not me. <laughs> but she shares that burrow with insects and spiders, scorpions, rats, mice, snakes, frogs, some rabbits and birds have been seen on it. And you make their because, own Yeah, because if a fire's coming, there's a hole there, I can't outrun it. I'm going to leave the hole, right? I'm going to try to survive. Snakes love the, uh, that, that burrow because when the little mouse goes in there to hide from the, what, you know, the rain, oh. it's oh. much. So because she's on the endangered species list, that means we don't have a whole lot of our burrows left either because there's nobody building them. So in Mississippi, we have oh, no more indigo snakes. They're gone no. because they didn't survive the small number of burrows. And our black pine snakes are also endangered species. So that's why it's super important for us to know who they are, who these girls are, these tortoises are, so that we can help protect them. Now, in our story, we talked about that they need to live in the wild and have their best life. And then I'm going, and then you're looking at me going, Mrs. Brandy, you have a tortoise that should be living in the wild, having her best life. I know you are. But let me tell you a story about this. The reason that I have Polly is because Polly was injured. And she's missing one of her front legs. Something tried to, something bit her, or she got injured on her leg. And it was so injured that they couldn't save her leg. And so they had to take her leg in order for her to survive. That's another reason she's a princess. So she should be living in her best life, but in order for her to survive, she has to help help because she can't dig a tunnel anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's why she lives with me. And she and I help Mark teach about gopher tortoises to kiddos and grown ups like y'all. Uh, can I hold Polly? Can't hold Polly. Because yeah. we don't let everybody hold our animals. It's, they get all stressed out. And um, but she is now an animal ambassador, right? And so she teaches, because she represents all the other gopher tortoises so that people know who they are and they know about them. So if you see one, Remember, she's got that flat foot with a rake on the end, right? Her legs look like a rake. But what is her back foot? What animal does it remind you of? I love to sit here. Look at his foot. Who does her foot remind you of? A dinosaur, kind of? What other animal that's still here? What do y'all think? A chicken. Not a chicken. <laughs> How about an elephant? Do you see elephant foot there? No. Yeah, it's very elephantine looking. So when we're looking at these guys, they have a smooth shell, they have that elephant looking foot, and then they're flat here. No webbing. 